Hey, my name is Boss, and I'll be showing you the new Meraki app. So when we log into the app, first what we see is the network summary. So it shows that we have an uptime of 100% for the network, which is good, of course. So next is um, the devices. We have currently 17 online devices, and none of them are alerting, or and none of them are offline. In total, we have 13 unique clients, and two of them are using high uh, data usage. And what that is, that we'll, we'll be looking into that a little bit later. So in this general overview, we have the top applications on the network. So uh, which applications are currently used most in the network. With the new app, we have an integration with wireless health. So approximately 6% of all connections are fail, failing. Uh, and uh, last but not least, we can see how the clients are divided up, uh, between the both SSIDs. So in this case, all clients are connected to the virus detected network. So going to the devices, so we could click see all just below the number 17, but we could also go to the tab uh, devices at the bottom. And then we get an overview of all the net, uh, all the devices in the network, based, categorized on a per type base. So we have one MX, a few cameras, an MG, MG21, so a cellular gateway. We have a few switches, etc. And um, with the new app, we have the option to do search based on anything, like IP address, model. So if we want to find all our list all our switches in the network, we just type MS. And we see we found two switches active in this network. Going back to the cameras, um, let's search for driveway. We'll take a look at the camera on the driveway in this. So it found one MV72. We just click it, and directly it will show us the footage of the camera as well. Uh, it also states that we're directly connected to the camera and approximately through the cloud. And one of the amazing things, which I really, really like, uh, is that the old app was a read-only application. The new Meraki app is uh, a fully managed app uh, which you can use in, in your daily work. So we are able to make adjustments to configurations, uh, devices, etc. So if we want to, uh, let's make something simple, let's rename this camera, uh, our camera, we push save, and we're able to rename like the camera, but we could also, for example, change the view or change the autofocus, etc. And I think this is really the difference between like what we have now and the new app. This is really, really cool. Going back to the beginning, um, as we stated, we have two clients with high usage. Um, and if we want to see that, who that are, who those are, uh, which one that, that are, um, we just click the two and it takes you to uh, a filtered list of clients. Uh, we could also access the client list with the third button on the on the on the bottom, but uh, in this case, it, it built a filter with the two top devices in the network. So if we want to see what's going on on one of those devices, we'll just click the the, the iPad in this case, the iPad Pro, and um, it shows us which applications are causing like all the data in the network. And uh, it's pretty obvious, Netflix in this case with nearly 96% of all use, usage of all data is definitely the root cause of this one. Um, but one, one very neat feature in this is uh, the next tab, which is called Health. Well, in this case, the, the client is working fine. But if this client would have some kind of issue, it would be listed here. So if it's either uh, uh, something in the association phase or like a DS DHP issue, it would be presented in one simple intuitive overview here. And I think that's going to help you as an IT admin in a lot of cases where you're like not at behind your desk, but still able to do yeah, well, very advanced troubleshooting and uh, come to the root cause in a very effective way.
Let's go. Uh, finally, we'll go to the uh, through the the, the bottoms on the, the bottoms uh, buttons on the bottom. So we had the the clients view already. Um, last tab is the uh, settings tab, where we can enter our credentials, our login credentials, um, even make a wish and find a reference to our documentation. Uh, the app is currently still in a beta, but it's publicly available. So either if you're Google or uh, an Apple uh, user, feel free to search the uh, the app stores and uh, try to tr try the app and uh, yeah, let, let us know what you think and, and how it works for you. So I hope it was informative for you and thank you for watching. Bye-bye.